Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and it is time for Patch Tuesday. So uh, we are the second Tuesday of the month of September 2022. So for Windows 10, we have available right now a malicious software removal tool update. We have a cumulative update for .NET Framework, and we have a cumulative update for Windows 10. So whatever version you have, the KB is KB5017308, and this is security fixes. So we're going to come back a little later with a video with what uh, security updates we had, how big of a patch Tuesday it is today or not, and if there's any zero-day flaws or anything that's you know really, really serious and exploited in the wild. So we'll know that a little later. I'll uh, go into details of looking at the blog post and seeing all of the fixes in there. So if you're on Windows 10 version 21H1, 21H2, or 22H2 in my case, you're getting these cumulative updates. They're mandatory, which means that they will install automatically as they are security updates. And uh, of course, we'll be looking at all the details of what's in there. Um, I'll come back, of course, also saying how this is a uh, you know, not a most powerful PC in the world, but it has an SSD, so updates tend to install quite fast. So uh, this is going to be, uh, you know, anybody's guess, because depending on how big the update is, so for some of you it's, you know, 5-10 minutes. For others it's going to be, you know, an hour. Um, somebody asked me, and then I can maybe address this here, about, you know, it takes 5-6 hours for a computer to update that he has. I've owned a lot of PCs. I do have still a couple of old PCs. You know, with a standard magnetic hard drive and an old PC, it yes, it does take longer to install. But um, I find it curious when people say, well, it took five hours for me to install. Um, you know, five hours is a long time. And I wonder where the time is actually calculated. Uh, don't you know, add the download time and the install time here in the installs. When you see this page, you can still use your PC. You can still do other things. You don't have to, you know, wait and do nothing when you, that is here. Make sure that you only stop using your PC, even though it might be slower. That's definitely a possibility. But stop, um, you know, looking at that page and just doing nothing. That's not a place where you, you know, you should wait. You can do other stuff. You can use your PC. You can go watch videos, whatever. Um, it's really the install phase when it restarts that you should count. So I'm wondering if people that say five hours are counting this as the five hours or not, because five hours shouldn't be is in in the. Um, you know, when it restarts and installs, it shouldn't be five hours. Um, even old PCs that I have here, like my nine-year-old Toshiba, doesn't take five hours for an update in Windows 10. It takes maybe 45 minutes to an hour at the most. So uh, just don't calculate this part because this part you can do something else. It's not, you know, while it installs these updates, you are able to use your PC. So add on to your uh, computers if you want to stay safe, of course, depending on what's going to happen. You can wait, of course. I'll be mentioning what's fixed in here in a video a little later today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.